Hello and welcome to your practice. My name is Babs. This is my channel, Balance with Babs. Today's chair yoga will be a lymphatic flow to help to promote lymphatic drainage throughout the body. So get into something comfortable and come and meet me on your mat. It may be helpful. So let's begin. Let's place our feet onto the floor. So inch your way forward towards the edge of the chair. Place your hands in your lap, palms facing down. And then I welcome you to close your eyes. So we'll first start by just allowing yourself to become present with where you are right now. So notice where your body is meeting the surface of your chair. Notice your hands in your lap. Notice your feet grounded into the floor. And then see if you can sit up a little bit taller. So broadening through the chest. Imagine that I'm pulling a tiny string from the top of your head up, elongating the spine. So already you're beginning to sit up taller, stronger, a more open posture. And then notice how you're breathing right now. And then maybe just by noticing your breath, you're able to lengthen the breath. So let's start by inhaling for a count of three. And exhaling slowly for a count of three. Inhaling through the nose for one, two, three. Exhaling through the mouth for one, two, three. Inhaling like you're smelling some beautiful flowers. And exhale like you're blowing out the candles. So just about seven to eight of these slow breaths will help to calm the body Slow down the heart rate, level out the blood pressure, and help you to become more mindful. And then let's place one hand over the heart, one hand on the stomach. And next time you take a big breath in, feel the belly expand. And then as you exhale, the belly comes towards the spine, contracts slightly. Let's take four more breaths like this. Inhale fully. And exhale fully. So this right here is deep diaphragmatic breathing. A really good way to stimulate the lymphatic system. As you breathe in, the diaphragm goes down, puffs out the belly. And as you exhale, the diaphragm comes up and in, massaging that thoracic duct moving the fluid towards the heart. Two more breaths, inhale and exhale. Last one here, breath in and out. And then release the hands down. And then we're gonna inhale, reach the arms up towards the sky as the gaze comes up. So stretch your body really nice and long. And then exhale, hands come down through heart center. Two more like that. Inhale, make your body big and tall. Breath in. Exhale, pull it down through the center of your chest. Inhale, lift. Exhale. And then place both hands to the abdomen. Spread the fingers really nice and wide. And then take a breath in through the nose and exhale out. So in our body, we have around 700 lymph nodes and they're in large clusters throughout the body. So a major cluster is right in the abdomen and they form right under the ribs and right above the hips. So we're gonna target each quadrant of the abdomen to stimulate those lymph nodes. And it's so important to stimulate the lymph nodes first so that you can clear the lymph nodes so it encourages more fluid to come in and get filtered out. So we'll place our hands right to our right ribs, right below, 
hand on top of hand, and we're gonna take two breaths in each area. So take a breath in, give a little gentle pressure, and then exhale, release. Another breath in, and exhale, release. And then we'll come to right below the left ribs, breath in, and out. Just a little gentle pressure as you breathe in, and exhale as you breathe out. And then come to the right hip. This is our inguinal lymph node area. So right above the hip, hand on top of hand, breathe in, give yourself a little bit of love, a little pressure. Exhale, release the pressure. Another breath in, little push, push, push. And exhale. And then last quadrant here, come to the left inguinal nodes, hand on top of hand, breath in and out, breath in, and out, awesome. Let's take another sweep of the arms up towards the sky, grab a big beach ball up overhead, stretch up and back, and then hands come down to heart center. This time push into the hands, and then pull those arms up towards the sky, and then push the walls away from Good, two more like that. Scooping in from the center, reaching up. Exhale, push the walls away. Breath in as you sweep up, gaze comes up. Exhale, hands come down by your sides. Awesome, so we just opened up the largest area of lymph nodes. Now another major area of lymph nodes that is also really important is the chest. So supra and infraclavicular nodes, so above and below the clavicle. So we'll take our hands and we're gonna cross them across the chest. You can also do this one hand at a time too. And we're going to keep the hands in one position and we're gonna make stationary circles. So coming in towards the neck, back and around. So think of little circles stretching the skin. So the pressure is not too hard. It's just to get a nice stretch in the skin. So we're stimulating these nodes here. So this is where all the fluid goes back into the cardiovascular system, right here in these ducts at the base of our collarbone. So igniting these is really important for the health of the system. And then come to the neck, hands, thumbs are by the index, heel of the hand is at right under the chin, and you're gonna stretch the skin up, back, and down. So aiming that fluid down towards the collarbone. So we do this about 10 times at each location. So remembering just to stretch the skin, maybe take some slow breaths as you're doing this. Feel free to close the eyes. Go a little bit inward. Good, and then come back to the collarbones to clear that. So 10 little stretching circles. And don't worry if you're like, what is she doing? I have many videos that can help to explain and teach you, but really, I believe that any stimulation is good. So anything you're doing is probably just fine. And then we'll come to the shoulders. So hands to the shoulders. Again, you can do this one at a time or both. And we're gonna stretch the shoulders, skin in towards the clavicle. So coming, just doing little circles. And now get the elbows involved. So move the elbows as you do this. This is gonna to help to start to flush out the axilla or armpit nodes. So getting that kind of pumping sensation. Relax the eyes, relax the cheekbones. Wonderful. And then come back to the chest for the last time here for our opening of our chest. Remembering to sit up nice and tall, open body. And then release the hands down to lap palms facing up this time as a sign of openness, as a sign of healing. And just notice how you feel. Do you feel any bit of lightness? Do you feel any more clear? Without judgment, just Take one more breath in and out. 
great and then let's flow place the hands down onto the legs now palms facing down slide one arm forward as you slide one arm back getting some trunk rotation so we'll inhale to center exhale twisting to look over one shoulder back to center twisting to look over the other shoulder so moving nice and slow just rinsing out through the center of your body so about 50 percent of that fluid is originating coming from the abdomen from our digestion so if we can cleanse and clear digestive tract by doing some nice movement we're able to help our lymphatic system so take one more each side remember to breathe in as you come center and exhale as you twist then coming back to center hands stay on to the thighs open up the feet hip distance for seated cat and cow so on your next inhale you're going to bring your chin and your chest forward as you bring the shoulder blades back to pinch one another and then exhale start with the chin round through the chin hug in the core maybe extend the arms forward and we'll do this nine more times so breathe in coming forward exhale rounding puffing up the back of the heart reach the arms forward so you're getting a nice pelvic tilt here so that pelvic floor strengthening is super important for the drainage of the lower body so again, the more core strength, the more pelvic floor strength you can cultivate, the more you're going to help to assist your system to help drain. So just rocking back and forth on the pelvis. Just notice how this feels on your spine. Remember to breathe in and breathe out. Let's take three more. Breathe in as you lift your chin exhale as you come down just notice how good it feels to move your body last one here and then coming back up to center we're gonna roll our body over one leg center other leg and back and around so big circles so you can make these as wide as you like we're going to take five in one direction and then five in the other so as you come forward you're compressing those inguinal nodes and then as you come back you're releasing letting the flushing happen and then reverse the circle go in the opposite direction this is really good or it might be really bad if you just ate but know that this will get things moving definitely and then come back up to center let's sweep our arms up towards the sky exhale you're going to come into cactus arms so bending the elbows here and then you're going to pull the elbows down into the side body so inhale spread the fingers wide gaze comes up and then make fists as you intentionally pull the elbows down into the body inhale spread the arms spread the fingers lift up exhale let it go inhale through the nose exhale through the mouth here two more breath in and breath out breath in breath out and then place that left hand to the right thigh inhale sweep the right arm up and then we're going to hinge over side body stretch so there's a big large river called a watershed that goes from the axilla the armpit to the inguinal nodes the hips so if we stretch the skin in the side body we're allowing that fluid to drain focus on opening up the chest like you're swiveling your heart up towards the sky ignite through the fingertips breathe in and out breathe in and out and slowly coming back going to the other side right hand left thigh inhale sweep the left arm up and over really try to stretch that arm up 
and then again try to just find that slight adjustment so that you're facing up towards the sky feel the stretch in the side ribs stretching the intercostal muscles between the ribs helpful for our breath take two more breaths here really opening up you got this And then just wiggling those fingers, coming all the way down. Sweep the arms forward, gaze up. Exhale, hands come down to heart center. Interlace the hands, and we're gonna roll the wrists out. So finding a little bit of movement in the wrists. If you have upper body lymphedema, this next little section will be really good for you. So a lot of times the hands get a big puff on the top of the hand because we have tiny muscles in the hand. So, and as you know, muscle contraction is what moves the fluid. So let's inhale, spread the fingers nice and wide. Exhale, contract. Inhale, open. Exhale. Inhale, open. Exhale. Now reach the arms up really high. Inhale, open the fingers. Exhale, clench them. Inhale, open. Exhale. Last one, inhale, open, exhale. And then we're gonna reach the arms forward and then open up the fingers wide, spread the arms like you're really finding long wings here. So spread as much as you can, getting gravity to help the drainage, getting the chest open, the skin stretching, breath in here. Exhale, round, give yourself a huge hug. Inhale, open as wide as you can. Exhale, curl in, contract. Three more. Inhale, open your chest. Building confidence, building strength. Exhale, bring it all in. Inhale, open. Exhale. Last one here. Give it your all. Lift. Exhale. And then reach your arms up, look up, and then roll the wrists all the way down by your sides. Lift those arms straight out in front of you, reach the fingertips up towards the sky, breath in here. Exhale, drop the fingertips. Inhale, lift the fingertips up, straight elbows. Exhale, drop the fingertips. Once more, breath in and out. And then sweep the arms up, look up. Exhale, hands come to the chair by your side. Slow neck rolls, chin towards chest, ear, shoulder, head gently falls back. Closing your eyes, go deeper. Notice any cracks or crinkles in the neck, it's okay, just move slowly. Allow all the tension to melt away. You're here, I'm so thankful that you're here and joining us. And then reverse the circle with the neck, making sure not to hyperextend the neck too much. And they say to leave a little quarter or so from the back of your head to your shoulders, so you're never really fully putting your head back. And then gaze comes back to neutral, hands to the lap. Let's look over the right shoulder and then drop the chin and the chest down as you slide the chin over to gaze over the left shoulder. So just slowly going, gaze over the right, drop the chin, gaze over the left. Even this movement helps to drain the head and the neck. So. A lot of our ocular movements, a lot of our tongue movements help to stimulate, to move the fluid in our neck. And then coming back to center, pausing here, just notice how you feel. Come back to the sensation of where your feet are, where your bottom is, relax the shoulders. Take a nice cleansing breath in and then side out. Now we're gonna do our seated sun salutation just to build a little bit more heat in the body. 
and then we'll do a few of our seated warriors and we'll get into a little bit more stretching so if you are in my classes and you know where to go from here you can begin or you can follow along with me so opening up the legs a little bit wider pointing the toes out and then we're going to inhale sweep our arms up Exhale, we're gonna forward fold. So either hands to the thighs and fall between or hands to the ground or blocks. So allow yourself to melt down, forward fold. And then inhale, you're gonna create a flat back. So hands to the thighs, hands to shins or the, or the mat, just creating a nice flat back. And then exhale, forward folding down. And really push through the feet, root down to rise all the way up, stretching all the way up, reach the arms up, and hands come down through heart center. So that's our seated sun salutation flow. So we'll do it four more times. So inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward, fold down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Push through the feet, engage the core as you reach up, rise up, look up. Hands come down to heart center, breath to movement. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, fold towards earth. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up, rise up. Hands come down two more times. Inhale to lift. Stay with your breath, exhale to melt down. Inhale, peel your chest up. Exhale, melt down. Lift up, rise up, engage the leg muscles as you lift up. Hands come down to your heart center. One more time, feel the heat building. You got this, inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Reach up, rise up, stretch up. Hands come down through heart center. Pause, push the hands into one another. Puff the elbows out. Feel the strength in the arms. Push down the feet into the earth, into the ground, your mat, your floor. Feel the strength that you are building tonight, right here. And then hands come to the thighs. Let's take our right shoulder up towards our ear, back and down. And then our left shoulder up, back and down. So alternating shoulder rolls here. Maybe you start to get the trunk involved a little bit more. So you're just kind of rolling back. Maybe it's a new dance move, I don't know. Just feeling your body move, letting go of tension, stress and worries. All while promoting that lymphatic health and movement. Good, and then come back to center. Hands to the shoulders. Let's lift the elbows up toward the sky and open up. So really good one to squeeze the spinal nodes. So right along the top of your spine, you have a big cluster of lymphatic nodes. So if you have upper body lymphedema, it's really good to get those involved. So getting some Kind of scapular muscle strength will help to promote the squeezing and filtration. Now let's try the same thing what we did with the shoulders. So let's lift one elbow and then the other. So just now getting really into it. So see if you can tilt that elbow up towards the sky, back and around. So really make it a big movement. Get your side body involved. Making sure to breathe. Softening the face, the jaw. And then release the hands down. We're going to start to extend the right leg out and take the left foot so that it's now pointing towards the left. That right leg is nice and straight, so it can be out to the side or it can be out in front of you. If out to the side is like, no way, not tonight, that's fine, just keep it out in front of you. So we're coming into our warrior two. So we'll inhale, sweep the arms forward. Take a nice breath in. Exhale, open the arms wide. Take a look at the arms. Make sure that they're not one higher than the other. And then place palms down. Push the fingertips like someone's pulling from both directions. 
relax the shoulder and then gaze over that left middle finger. So this is our seated warrior to feel the, the earth underneath the feet, ground down through your bottom, breath in here, exhale, and then flip the front palm, reach this arm forward like you're grabbing something you want, and then we'll reverse the warrior, lifting that arm up and over, right hand comes to the thigh, slow breaths here, just finding the opening through the side ribs, another breath in and out, breath in brings you back into your warrior two, breath in here, exhale side angle, bringing that forearm down to the thigh, flipping the right palm and you're going to bring that up and over. So it's one big long line from those right fingertips down towards that right heel. And then again, like we did earlier, try to swivel your heart up so that you're opening up your chest. Use that left forearm to push your chest open rather than sinking down into it. Really try to find the openness through both sides of the body. Another breath in here and out. And then slowly coming back into our warrior two. And then bringing those right foot all the way in. Bringing both legs in and we'll make it to our other side. So extending left leg long, right foot out. Right toes pointing towards the right side of the room. Inhale, sweep the arms forward out in front of you. And then open up wide, spread the chest palms face down and then find a little bit of movement here so kind of just move in one direction and the other kind of find your center here feel how strong your arms can be in this position so really engage them all the way through the fingertips take a look at them make sure you're doing okay and then gaze over that right middle finger relax the shoulders relax the mind strong warrior here Notice where your mind goes when the sensation flows. Notice how your mind sometimes can take you away. Just be here, breathe, and enjoy your body moving. Flip the front palm, reach forward, and then reverse the warrior up and over. Arm comes over. You can turn your chest up. That left hand is just gently resting on the left leg. Another breath in here, stretch, and then exhale, coming back into warrior two. Breath in in warrior two. Exhale, forearm comes to thigh. Flip that left palm and bring it up and over the body. Same cues here. Push that right forearm against the thigh so you open up your body. Turn your chest towards the, um, looking under that left bicep, tricep here. Can you stretch the fingers a little bit more? Breath in and out. Exhale, coming back into warrior two. Amazing job. Hands come back to heart center. Bring those legs back in. And then we're going to take our right knee into our chest. So interlace the hands on the right shin. If you're unable to do this, you could quickly grab um, a dish rag and, and put it underneath the hamstring so you can hold it like this or um, a dog leash or something. But if you're here, start to roll the right ankle around. So this is a really good one to do when you're seated at work or when you're lying down, if you have any digestional issues. As you pull the right thigh into the body, this is massaging the ascending colon, so it gets everything moving. And then when we pull the left thigh into the chest, that's getting the descending colon to move. So helpful just to give you a little bit of pressure there and then we're going to extend the leg interlace the hands behind the knee on the hamstring stretch the leg long breath in to point the toes exhale point, bring the toes back towards your face breath in point the toes sit up tall make sure that you're not slouching back breath out point the toes back one more time breath in point forward breath out bring it back 
bring that knee back in towards you. You're gonna bring that foot up and over onto the left thigh for our seated figure four or pigeon pose. If you're not able to achieve this, that's totally fine. Just bring the back edge of your foot onto the mat or onto the ground and you're just gonna give yourself a little bit of gentle pressure to, to elicit that outer hip stretch. But if you're here, sit up really nice and tall and then exhale slowly start to hinge at the hips to whatever sensation feels good we'll stay here for three more breaths notice if you can go a little bit deeper with each exhale As you're ready, rise back up, plant the leg down as we transition to the left leg. Bring that knee into your chest, roll the ankle around. Try to hug that thigh in so it connects to your abdomen. Reminder to sit up strong. And just breathing here. And then start to straighten the leg, interlace the hands behind the thigh, breath in to point the toes, breath out to bring the toes back, breath in and out, another breath in, point the toes and breath out and then bring that heel up and over across the thigh. You can always put it onto the mat too. Take a hold of the foot gently on the thigh too, and then sit up tall. And then close your eyes and just let your exhales take over. No pressure, just slowly loosening through the legs, through the hips. We hold a lot of tension in this area. promoting self-love and healing with each exhale releasing the tension that's there. Two more breaths. No judgment, no worries. And then coming back up. The good news is the more you practice the better you get. So the more that you come to your chair every day for just a few moments, you will, I promise you, it will get easier. So let's inhale, reach our arms up, stretch the arms up, and we're gonna take a spinal twist here. So twisting towards the right, left hand to right thigh, right hand comes to the chair behind you. Use the inhale to grow your spine tall, Exhale to twist, looking over the right shoulder. Starting to calm down the breath. Another breath in, exhale, twist. And then inhale, reach that right arm up and over to cross it over to grab for that left thigh. Take a cat and cow here with the hands crossed. So inhale, lift the chin forward. Exhale, round two more. Inhale, pull yourself forward. Exhale, last one, breath in and out. And then lift that left arm up and around, spinal twist towards the left. Use the inhale to really pull from the crown of the head up and exhale, you rinse out the center of your body with each exhale. Two more cycles of breath here, in and out, in and out. And then reach that arm up and over across the body. This time, inhale, reaching the arms open. 
extend the legs so now you're in a five pointed star so heels are on the mat reach the arms really nice and long making your body as big as possible this helps to improve confidence get those happy hormones flowing breath in exhale let it all melt down bend the knees i encourage you to get comfortable here for our final few moments together so come towards the back of your chair you did a lot of awesome work a lot of hard work so let your spine just relax be cradled by the chair you have the option to place hands up if you want a little bit more healing or openness or palms down if you want a little more grounding, more stability. And then close your eyes. Notice where your body is in space. With your eyes closed, you have the full awareness of where you are feet touching the ground, your bottom in the chair, your shoulders relax. Notice if there's any tension between the eyebrows. Can you relax the cheekbones and the jaw? And then starting to slow down our breath. We'll begin a guided mantra meditation that I often use and I will gift it to you. You can steal it. <laughs> so in your mind, as you breathe in, you'll say to yourself, I try my best. And on the exhale, as in your mind, you'll say, and I release the rest. So inhale, I try my best. Exhale and I release the rest. So continue this mantra until you hear my voice again, but stay with it. If your mind wanders, that's normal. Just bring it back. I try my best. And I release the rest. Just bring it back. coming back into this space with one another. We'll wiggle our fingers, wiggle our toes. Just starting to awaken the body into the space it needs to be for whatever you have planned. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Palms come together and thumbs meet our third eye chakra in between the eyebrows connecting mind to body. And then thumbs come to the heart chakra connecting to our heart. And we can bow to one another to share our gratitude for one another and this practice and for our lymphatic systems. <laughs> Namaste.